Welcome to SuccessfulTrading.com for this daily market recap for June 8, 2020. We thought we had a great Monday session, a great opening to our week. But we discovered in the last minutes or seconds of the session that we missed a major, big opportunity. Without any further ado, let you tell you why, how, and what we are doing about it. Okay, very good. <laughs> I'm always amazed by those intros. But folks, no, uh, seriously, uh, let me cut my breath because it has been one of those Monday. After a long weekend, typically, um, I sh- don't not know about you, but you are energetic, we're coming in. But uh, the market has just been going in not so many directions, but just so many things to look at. So the, in the pre-market, we were buzzing because the market gapped up from... Uh, the, the breakout that we saw on Friday, so Sunday night, remember, we posted that video that's uh, quite so many, over 100 people just overnight. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. We really appreciate you supporting the, the, this channel. Yeah, I, well, trust me. Yeah, I was looking at that video actually too to see it. So you, you can see the live feed, feed on here. So really for us, um, let's start with the part that we miss because that, that's really, um, I, I cannot be talking about Oh, wish that went great for us in the trading day today. No, no, no. Let, let, let's look at actually the big miss, the big elephant in the room, as, the, <laughs> as it's called. Okay, well, folks, this trade, uh, let's see here. Is there a way for me to, uh, we're going to do the side by side later. So, uh, but let, let's focus on here first. So th- this is what we wanted. Yeah, I mean, this is a dream trade right, uh, whomever you are, <laughs> so where you, you, you come in, you enter the trade, and all you're seeing, the direction is just confirming. Yeah, I mean, here, at some point, anybody could say, oh, geez, how many points are you up? Well, from the gap up, let's say 135 to 160, that's the 158. So you're up... Uh, uh, 25 point, uh, 20, yeah, that's 25, 135 to 150, uh, 23, 23 points. So, uh, yeah, why, what's, 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 what's not to like? So I'm sure you will have, will have found a way to manage that. But other than that, not a single moment of anxiety whatsoever. <laughs> so, yeah, folks, uh, that's uh, certain days. Uh, it goes like that. They, certain days are definitely like that. So, so, but first, why was this a trade that uh, we should not have missed? It, because the one had a major print uh, from Flow Algo. So that's uh, for us actually just to give you another example of how effective Flow Algo is. Uh, so there have been a lot of print recently. So I actually took it upon myself uh, literally three days ago uh, lit- <laughs> to record them in a more um, deliberate manner, but systematically. So here I'm able to say that uh, beyond on June the 3rd, uh, which was anywhere here in this sideway action field day, uh, they, they, they bought just half a million shares at $135. Though that's about some just shy of $70 million that was spent onto it. Well... Three days later, <laughs> the three trading day later, right? Because the weekend did not count, but I mean, it count for options or anything. So this is what uh, this is what happened. I have a, a dozen now. Actually, I, there are over twenty such example right now over the last three weeks because since the market has been recovering, so those print they come in and uh, they just blast. We're going to show you the one that for us, we were busy uh, counting our money on and thus missing this one. <laughs> we showed that's when we did well on, on it since we were trading that. But let, let's look at it. Let's take a look at here by bringing this side side by side or kind of side by side, how much this, this, this thing returned. So here is the option... Um, the, 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 Oh, how can they call this even? Yeah, this, this, this is the, the, the layout of the options on here. 
for the option chain. That's the word I'm looking at. You see, I'm all over the place right? because, yeah, the payout folks uh, in the money called, well, they were not in the money, but in the bank, not in the money or close to the money, we're looking at 2,300%. I mean, who, 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 who could have used that? I mean, if you, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know about you, but this means since we always talk in percentage, so that's mean that a fifty dollar investment, right? Uh, you you get to multiply that by twenty, so that's mean you will have turned fifty dollar into a thousand dollars. And the question will be, but how much could I have afforded that? Yeah, because here it appreciated by almost nine dollars, so meaning it was only worth fifteen cents per contract or or, or thereabouts. So, but uh, let's let's take uh, something a little bit more juicy, insightful for you exciting maybe um let's say if you were to pick the 185 they were going for five cents at the close on on friday yeah you have had the alert since uh, the, the the june june 3rd so now the question could be oh text but how do i know that um how many days mm, you really don't know they 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 know they control that so for that let's let's bring the chart here i'm gonna use maybe I don't know, because all of them, they were super cheap, really. Literally, they were going for five cents or whatever because they were so out of the money. But here's the thing, right? You can see on the screen, look at the volume that was traded. So there are people who actually came and traded this. The open interest is this much, meaning that all of these were new position that, 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 that came in. <laughs> people, they traded it or they are still holding it. Uh, everybody did something on it but us. Go figure. <laughs> so, well, the question here will, will be that at um, 9.30 Eastern, they were going today, the low was 15 cents. Okay. So, 15 cents to, to, to over $2. And uh, they didn't take that long huh? because this is... Uh... <laughs> so, you enter the position here, 9.30 Eastern, 12.45 Eastern. You are handed, you, are, you, you multiply your initial investment by more than 10, right? So, because if you said, oh, but again, you have had this information since last year, uh, like Wednesday. And at which time, those options were worth 5 cents. Okay, I say less. I say, <laughs> I say less. This one, uh, no, 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 not good on, uh, on our part on here. We didn't, we didn't do a good job on that. So we will be looking into, because the, we did the homework. So the execution was lousy because we spend our day scrutinizing our weekly subscriptions uh, uh, alert. So they, they, those are the ones that we were managing so, so as not to miss anything. I mean, over there are really just Twitter, which gapped up. And I think uh, some folks traded FCX. Uh, we will talk about them. Mm. Oh, geez. Uh, yeah, we will talk about them at a later time. So, <laughs> so let's, let's go back to the, this. So in our main watch list overall, uh, we meant to, uh, to, 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 what, what, what should I say? We, we, we were focusing on the other one and this one here was the biggest winner. So, Oh, what did we trade well? We 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 had our share of of wins, so we traded uh, a a print. Uh, that one was another print, I think. Yeah, that that that, that one was a print uh, in the oil industry, H A L. So that's one once we traded uh, successfully off of a print that came in um, a week ago, uh, last, last not this past Friday, but the previous Friday, and the the the, the stock has just been ramping since then. So. Let, let's take a look here on the daily chart as uh, just show you what oh this is already a daily so it was on 529 and uh, a print came in for Harley Burton is the, the ticker HAL at a price of I'm just reading it off my screen on here eleven dollars and fifty cents one million share and day after day literally this thing has been just posting higher highs and so for us, we started the trade. Uh, when exactly? Let's 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 go and find that for you. That way we show you our entries, we show you our exits. So let me do something here on the background. So I'm going to just select that trade. So history H A L. Hmm. 
okay okay this is it so these are some of our position we entered originally with a lot of contract at um, for the 15 calls expiring a week from uh, from from friday so we have plenty of time left and uh yeah we we bought some at six cents that's why you see the pay the payout here uh so we sold we sold quite a few uh we actually we start selling some on friday really yeah yeah let, let's clarify that so uh, as of now we are sitting at uh, 2750 percent gain on on those, those those that remain so yeah, so it's a bit of consolidate, uh, consolation. <laughs> Easier for me to say for, uh, for missing uh, the the other trade on, um, on 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 B1. So we, we were busy. We were busy managing this position because it was a very very huge position. What you see here are just the remains of of, of, of that. So yeah. Uh, 2,751. So uh, the the moral of the story could be: Oh, we did great on one uh, flow algo um uh prints equity prints and uh, we miss on the other one so maybe that's what i'm gonna, I'm gonna put as a title okay so because that that was a, a print on the that we have traded since uh since since thursday and uh, uh it, it, it paid it paid out well so the the other one that's uh, for us did well um you know about IWM, so we had some, some, some of them. That one obviously was over a thousand percent as well as it appreciated above one hundred and fifty-three dollars today. Let me bring another trade on here, uh, still in the oil sector, and uh, this one had an all, all, all print. So it, we, we, we did, we did quite well because we had a lot of them, a lot of them on fire. So a thousand and uh, one hundred seventy-seven percent on these again expiring in two weeks. The sixty call of XOM. Uh, so we we saw we saw a great deal today uh, uh, as well. So overall, we 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 again it's, as I said in in the in the in the, the, the the opening in the introduction right in the teaser if you will of this uh, video, uh, we made we had a great session. We have a great session by all accounts. Uh, that was a, a great a great day to, to start. And we have set up that uh, for the rest of the week. Rest assured, because uh, we didn't have that much movement on uh, our. On preparatory uh, triggers alert, but we are only Monday, and you know how they went last week. Slow Monday, slow Tuesday. By Wednesday, it was ten baggers, one thousand percent move and more all, all, all over the place. The markets, as it stands right now, because a lot of you ask me, "Oh, uh, what's your view on the market?" and I didn't do that here, so I apologize for that. So the top-down analysis as. Uh, you may catch um, go go and at the, at the, in the description of this video you can check out some a link to our tweet uh, yeah that's how it's called it's our tweet channel uh, so if you you are on tweet it's uh, if this channel on here so we had a lab bro a broadcast at um, for the last hour of the day we do a pre market on there as well so you can catch us live on there at nine um, a.m. Eastern just all the way to maybe 10 minutes, eight to 10 minutes before the open. And then in the last 60 minutes of the session, we come on here, so we were discussing <laughs> about SPY. We, we call this move light. So we were talking about, okay, which way were they going with SPY after consolidation and just a, a melt up. This is the daily chart. So this is the 15 minute charts on here that we call the, 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 this movement overall. And we were able to make uh, some entry into some position, promising position. Those are prints as well for, for the rest of the week. So check it out, check, check it out. There, there's extra information on, on, on there. I'm, I'm gonna make sure to, to, to post in there. So this is where SPY stand. Let's go back to the daily charts. We're gonna look at SPY, QQQ, IWM, and then we're gonna close it, okay? So just as we usually do, we just reverse the order on. We will make sure to keep this video within an appropriate length of time. So SPY is creeping in nicely. So somebody asked me, what's my view on here? My view is that clearly, well, they're going to try to maybe go to 325. And since there's this huge gap in between, they may stop there. I kid you not. There's the high probability. That's as of now for me. If I'm trading SPY, which I didn't do today, I haven't traded SPY for a while. Uh, we just uh, go to the gap and then with there. We know there is an event, a volatility event, a binary event volatility created by the Federal Open uh, Meeting Committee, FOMC meeting that start tomorrow and uh, will be releasing at 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, June 10, 
uh, the decision on interest rate cuts, yay or nay, and then follow. You uh, think, yeah, there will be a press conference. I'm not. I'm not so sure. I will have to confirm that for you. But well, here's what we know. Leading into that event, most likely we're going to see a lot of sideways. So my advice to the traders today was that please make sure that your positions are covered. Covered in the sense either you don't have that much risk on that day, or if you are you are willing you are willing to accept the risk know that hey there will be some 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 volatility potentially on there so be prepared for that so that's uh here it's a spy qqq was the lagger this as you not as usual um there was the lagger in the pre-market because it was barely barely uh green yeah, all of the other they were green but qqq recovered and i mean we're posting you know i forget about 137 um 47 is long gone 40 uh, we're talking about the 241s now folks yeah we hit 240 on Friday, I believe, I don't know if it was on tweets or one of my video, I talked about the trade last week to take June 5th expiration for QQQ 240. They, 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 they pay, they pay. It was a 10 bagger, it was a 10 bagger because between Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, they went from 4 cents to 45 cents or 50 cents. We see that all over the place now. So they are no longer uh, no, <laughs> no longer a surprise. So I just wanted to go here to the 15 minute to see, yeah, this is where the day started. Oh, so this is how the day started. I mean, hey, after the first hour, the first 45 minutes, outside of the up, the lower Bollinger, I mean, perfect. You could have day traded this from 238, three points. I mean, it wasn't straightforward as Mr. B1. I still cannot believe that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so last but not least, let's just take a look at IWM. The Russell 2000, it's it finally trying to flex his muscle. I like the close though. I mean, we didn't gain anything because we hit 152 on Friday, right? So here, so for me, that's the reason why you didn't see. I, I, saw, I, saw, my, uh, I saw my IWM uh, po po position. So I, though, though, those, were, those were nice gain. Um, they expire. They were expiration was on June twentieth uh, for the one sixty calls. But uh, mm, I don't know, folks. I for for me, I'm just yeah. Uh, I mean, not that it, it will not could not happen, right? But um, so they here here they are here here they are. If you want to see, uh, so we bought some. The the last one that we bought, there were six cents on here. I think uh, if I can go back ten days, I, I don't want to see all that trade on there. But yeah, from six cents, not 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 bad at all. Being able to 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 sell to sell uh, uh, was this Friday we were selling some at seventy, and then today what what did we do today? Uh, we, we 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 sold. Uh, yeah, we sold, if it's 1-1 one, one here, so we sold at 80, 93 cents, 86 cents, and 82 cents. So that wasn't bad at all. So more than a 10-bagger, obviously. Okay, folks, uh, that's it. So for this uh, May, and uh, not May, we are in June. June the 8th, 2020, uh, daily market recap. Uh, it has been a long day, as you can tell. I apologize for that. <laughs> I think I'm just going to uh, process this video and then uh, present it to your viewing and uh...